Hello friends, welcome back to a new video that is MCQs on culture media for microorganisms or microbial culture media. Okay, and this is the first part of this series of videos on microbial culture media. So the first question of this video that is triple sugar iron, sorry, once again, triple sugar iron test detects all the following properties except option A gas, option B hydrogen sulfide, option C sugar fermentation, option D citric utilization. So which one is involved with triple sugar iron and the right answer is option D that is citric utilization is not related to triple sugar iron that is triple sugar iron test detects all the following properties except citric utilization okay and now we will see what is triple sugar iron test the triple sugar iron test is used to differentiate bacteria based on their ability to ferment glucose sucrose and lactose these three sugar and that's why it is called triple sugar iron test so here we will see whether a bacteria is fermenting glucose sucrose or lactose and the second thing is uh, whether the bacteria we can differentiate them based on their production of hydrogen sulfide and release acid and hydrogen sulfide gas so based on these three properties we can judge a bacteria and differentiate them so the TSI test is often used to differentiate enteric bacteria including salmonella shigella and enterobacteries okay so this is all about triple sugar iron test so let's move on to next question that is question number two that is oxidase positive is used for option a pseudomonas so for pseudomonas or option b for klebsiella option c for staphylococcus or option d for escherichia coli so the right answer is option a that is pseudomonas so oxidase positive organism is pseudomonas okay and all other this klebsiella escherichia coli and staphylococcus is oxidase negative so what is oxidase positive or oxidase test the oxidase test is used to identify bacteria that produce cytochrome c oxidase which is an which is an enzyme of the bacterial electron transport chain and all bacteria that that are oxidase positive are aerobic and can use oxygen as a terminal electron acceptor in respiration okay so this oxidase is related to ox, uh, oxygen uh, using oxygen as a terminal electron acceptor in respiration so which bacteria have this oxidase enzyme they are aerobic so the test is used as an aid for the differentiation of Neisseria, Moraxella, Campylobacter and Pasteurella species which are oxidase positive okay so let's move on to question number three it is antibiotic sensitivity testing is as usually done on option a blood agar option b chocolate agar option c maconkey agar or option d muller hinton agar so this antibiotic sensitivity testing is as usually done on option d that is muller hinton agar so this muller hinton agar or mha is a non selective non differential medium that can grow a wide range of non fastidious organisms and this muller hinton agar is commonly used for antibiotic susceptibility testing using the kirby bayer disc diffusion method and it is used for isolating and maintaining Neisseria and Moroxella species. Okay, so these are the two role of this Muller Hinton agar. Okay, next the thing next is TSI is option A selective, option B selective uh, media, or option B enrichment media, option C enriched media, or option D composite media. So which one is right about this TSI or triple sugar iron agar? Or media so the right answer is option D that is composite so TSI is a composite media okay and why it is called composite media because this TSI because different properties of the bacterium can be studied and interpreted using a single medium so by this TSI media we can identify 
triple sugar that is uh, whether a bacteria can use uh, glucose or uh, uh, glucose or sucrose or lactose and also we can differentiate them because uh, we can identify whether hydrogen sulfide is produced or not or acid is produced or not or gas is produced or not so every uh, this all these thing we can identify by this tsi agar that's why it is called composite media because more than one dif uh, differentiating character can be identified from bacteria by this media okay so let's move on to question number five that is selective media for shigella is option a williams williamson wilson blair media option b tcbs media option c dca media option d blood agar so which one is correct that is option c that is dca that is dioxycholate agar so selective media for shigella is dca or dioxycholate citrate agar media okay so let's move on to question number six so recommended transport medium for stool specimen suspected to contain enteric pathogen is option a emis medium option b buffered glycerol saline medium option c maconkey medium option d blood agar and the right one is about the transport medium is option b that is buffered glycerol saline medium so recommended transport medium for stool specimen suspected to contain enteric pathogen is buffered glycerol saline medium okay next question that can you and also we have some information to share about the transport media so this transport media are buffered solutions that preserve the viability of bacteria and other microorganisms during transport and it is made uh, for maintaining nature and morphella species okay so let's move on to next question that is question number seven that is robertson cooked meat broth is an example of option a enriched media option b enrichment media option c nutrient media option d anaerobic media so robertson cooked Robertson cooked meat broth is an example of option A that is enriched media. So this media is an enriched media. So what is enriched media? Enriched media is an agar based media that support a wide diversity of microorganisms even those that are fastidious and the opposite is enrichment media which is different from enriched media this enrichment media are aqueous or liquid media that inhibit the growth of unwanted microorganism. So enriched media is an agar based media that it is an agar based media and enrichment media is a aqueous media and this enrichment media support a wide variety of microorganism even the fastidious organisms but enrichment media which is a aqueous media that inhibit the growth of unwanted microorganisms and enrich the particular microorganisms okay so let's move on to question number eight that is blood agar is an example of option a enriched media option b enrichment media option c nutrient media option d specific media sorry special media and the right answer is option d that is special media it is a special media blood agar is an example of special media okay so let's move on to question number nine that is which one of the following is true and the options are option a agar has nutrient properties option b chocolate medium is selective medium option c addition of selective substances in a solid medium is called enrichment medium option d that is nutrient broth is basal medium so which one is true among these options okay so the right answer is option d that is nutrient broth is a basal medium it is only the true option and this nutrient broth is a basal medium this basal media are simple media that support the growth of non-fastidious bacteria they are often used to isolate microorganisms in labs so this is the meaning of basal media they are the simple media for supporting the growth so next is question number 10 that is which of the following will grow on chocolate agar and the options are option a 
Neisseria meningitis, option B, Haemophilus influenzae, option C, Listeria monocytogens, or option D, all of the above. And the right one is option D, that is all of the above. So, which one of the following will grow on chocolate agar? That is all, that is Neisseria meningitis, Haemophilus influenzae, Listeria monocytogens, all of these organisms can grow on chocolate agar. And this chocolate agar or chocolate blood agar is a non-selective enriched growth media used for isolation of pathogenic bacteria. Okay. So, let's move on to question number 11. That is, which of the following is an enrichment media? And the options are option A, alkaline pepton water, option B, monsoors, tadocolate, telluride, pepton water, option C, selenite, evroth. Option D, all of the above. And the right one is option D. That is all of the above media is known as enrichment media. So it's alkaline pepton water, monsoon telluride, telluride pepton water, selenite evroth. This three media is known as enrichment media. Okay. Next one is question number 12. So this CLED media is used in preference to Maconchi agar in relation to culture of organisms involved in urine infection. So, in urine infection, CLED medium is more preferable than Maconchi agar. And the reason is option A, it prevents swarming of proteus. Option B, it differentiates LF and NLF. That means differentiate between lactose fermenting and non lactose fermenting organism. Option C, promotes Staphylococcus and Candida. Option D, identifies Pseudomonas. So, which one is correct about this statement? So, the right answer is option A. That is, it prevents swarming of proteas. So, CLED medium is used to preference, preference to Maconchi agar in relation to culture of organisms involved in urine infection because of it prevents swarming of proteas. Okay, and this CLED media that is cysteine lactose electrolyte deficient agar is a non inhibitory growth media used to isolate and differentiate urinary microbes. It is also used to enumerate microorganisms in urine. It promotes the growth of urinary pathogens but prevent excessive swarming of proteus species due to its lack of electrolytes. Okay. <coughs> So, let's move on to question number 13 that is smith Nogoshi's media is used for option A Salmonella, option B Klebsiella, option C Spirochetus, option D Bacillus and the right one is option C that is Spirochetus. So, smith Nogoshi's media is used for Spirochetus okay and the smith Nogoshi's media is a broth that contains fresh animal tissue. It's used for research and to support the growth of many anaerobes. It's also used for the cultivation of non-pathogenic triponyms. Okay. So, let's move on to question number 14. To prevent swarming, the agar in nutrient agar has to be increased at least to option A 2%, option B 4%, option C 6%, option D 8%. So, to prevent swarming, the agar in nutrient agar has to be increased at the nutrient agar has to be increased. But look, uh, that means the agar concentration has to be increased at least option C that is 6%. At least you have to increase the agar concentration to 6%. So, what is swarming? Swarming is a social behavior of bacteria. It involves billions of bacteria migrating together over a surface. So, swarming is a form of motility in which bacteria move across solid surface in a group. So, to prevent the swarming, we have to increase the agar concentration to 6%. Okay. So, let us move on to question number 15. It is, a uh, nasherous species is cultivated in enrichment culture, culture such as option A nutrient agar, option B maconchi agar media, option C chocolate agar or option D LJ media. So, a Neisseria species is cultivated in enrichment culture such as option C that is chocolate agar. Okay. So, let us move on to question number 16 that is 
the bacterial culture prepared by pure culture technique is called as option a culture development option b inoculum option c suspension option d dilution of microorganisms and the right one is option b that is inoculum so the bacterial culture prepared by pure culture technique is called as inoculum okay so let's move on to question number 17 that is the duration of growth of microorganisms is called as option a period of isolation option b period of incubation option c period of inoculation option c is stationary phase and the right one is option b that is period of incubation so the duration of growth of microorganisms is called as period of incubation okay so let's move on to question number 18 that is lavenstein jansen is a kind of media that is known as option a differential media option b selective media option c specific media option d indi indicator media and the right one is option d that is indicator media so lavenstein jansen media or lj media is a indicator media and this La Lowenstein Janssen media also known as LJ agar is a selective egg based media used to cultivate and isolate mycobacterium species from clinical specimens okay next question that can get next is question number 19 this which of the following culture media combinations is or are true except that means which are not true so options are option a Thayer Martin media for gonori option b chocolate agar for enriched media that is a enriched media option c lawenstein jansen media used for mycobacterium tuberculosis option d muller hington agar used for coenobacterium diphtheri or option e maconkis agar which is uh, used to differentiate non lactose fermenters from lactose fermenters so which one is not true here not true combination so the right answer is option d that is muller hinton agar used for corinibacterium diphtheri is not true okay but the other things other combinations are true okay so let's move on to the last question of this video that is both staphylococcus epidermidis and estrusia coli were grown in lab simultaneously on a culture media okay so after overnight incubation it was observed that only e coli flourished whereas s epidermidis didn't grow the possible reason is or are option a culture media was differential option b culture media was selective option c e coli produced collicine that inhibited s epidermidis growth or option d gram positive have more generation time so which one is the possible reason for not growing the microorganism that is S epidermidis or Staphylococcus epidermidis. So the right answer is option B that is culture media was selective for Escherichia coli that's why only Escherichia coli flourished in that media okay. So these are all 20 questions on this part one video on microbial culture media okay. So thank you for watching this video.